Welcome and good afternoon, colleagues. Thank you for joining us online today. While we certainly prefer gathering together in the same room and enjoying each other's company, today we're going to make the best of this digital format for the health and well-being of all involved. We encourage you to congratulate your colleagues and peers today by participating in the chat box to the right of the video in your browser. While normally this is more of a one-way presentation, today we'd love to see you all celebrating your peers, celebrating their accomplishments and congratulating them in the chat. Named faculty positions are more than simply a prestigious title. They offer a direct connection between our faculty and some of our most cherished stakeholders. Professorships and chairs include flexible financial support which can be used to support research and teaching activities, graduate students, equipment purchases, scholarly travel, and much more. The benefits to our college are plentiful. The College of Engineering has the largest number of named faculty positions on campus and has increased that number by nearly 25% during the Forever True campaign, due in no small part to the efforts of Ryan Harms and his team of development officers, coordinators, and assistants in the Foundation's engineering office. We certainly appreciate all the work they put in behind the scenes, so we may offer these named positions to our current faculty, as well as using them as a very valuable tool in faculty recruitment. This year's new named positions. Sumek Sarkar has received the Walter W. Wilson Faculty Fellow in Engineering. Matthew Frank and Kyung Min have received the John B. Slater Professorship in Sustainable Design and Manufacturing. Luke Rowling has received the Michael and Denise Mack 2050 Challenge Scholar. Jennifer Shane has received the W.A. Klinger Teaching Professorship for Construction Engineering. Alric Rothmeyer has received the Vance and Arlene Kaufman Department Chair in Aerospace Engineering. Carrie Pint has received the Charles Schaefer Battelle Chair in Engineering. Nigel Rule has received the Jack R. and Carol A. Johnson Faculty Fellowship in chemical and biological engineering. And Ashley Buss and Christian Rozier have received the Black and Veatch Building a World of Difference Faculty Fellowships in Engineering. Congratulations to each of those honorees. Let's all give a thumbs up or a confetti emoji in the chat. Next, we want to recognize patents, which have been awarded over the last year. Patents are highly valued scholarly contributions which bring widespread national recognition and respect to our faculty, the college, and Iowa State University. This year, Iowa State once again placed in the top 100 universities for patents issued, and Cyclone Engineers played a large role in this ranking. This year's recipients are Ivor Anderson for passivation and alloying element retention in gas atomized powders, and Rapidly solidifying lead-free tin silver copper aluminum or tin copper aluminum solder. Ivor Anderson and Adam Bosenberg for lead-free tin silver copper aluminum or tin copper aluminum solder. Ivor Anderson and David Byrd, stability of gas atomized reactive powders through multi-step in situ passivation. Daniel Adinger, Leong Dong and Young Song Chan for miniaturized continuous flow fermenting apparatus. Stuart Burrell, agricultural harvester configured to control a biomass harvesting rate based upon soil effects. Thomas Chio for soil nitrate sensing system for precision management of nitrogen fertilizer applications. Eric Cochran, Chris Williams, and Naku Hernandez for thermoplastic elastomers via atom transfer radical polymerization of plant oil. Eric Cochran, Chris Williams, Naku Hernandez, and Michael Forrester for polyacrylated polyoil and method for making and using thereof as asphalt rubber modifiers, adhesive fracking additives, or fracking fluids. Dugong Chen voltage reference generator with linear and nonlinear temperature dependency elimination. Liang Dong and Ratnesh Kumar for electrophoretic soil nutrient sensor for agriculture. David Gruel, closed loop 3D printing. 
Mark Hanna and Matt Schramm for system and method for predicting wind direction and speed to better control drift. Sri Kaluru, Eric Cochran, and Naku Hernandez for reagent purification systems, methods, and apparatus. Chris Williams, Joseph Podolsky, and Eric Cochran for asphalt products and materials and methods of producing them. Chris Williams, Joseph Podolsky, Naku Hernandez, Austin Homan, Eric Cochran, and Mohammed Elkashef for asphalt products and methods of producing them for rejuvenation and softening of asphalt. Eric Lang and Jeffrey Askey, Baylor Mass Flow Sensing Assembly and Method. Also, Baylor with Mass Flow Sensing Assembly and Method of Initiating Stuffer Trip. And finally, Baylor Information System and Method. Leong Dong and Hua Wei Jiang for high throughput, large scale plant phenotyping instrumentation. Wenjin Li and Yang Kui, fuel cell system and method of generating energy from crude fuel. Marjorie Rover and Robert Brown, low temperature, low pressure upgrading and stabilization of bio oil or bio oil fractions. Robert Brown, Marjorie Rover, and Andrew Friend, methods of producing solid fuel using low ash, low sulfur coal replacement from fast pyrolysis of biomass. Matthew Darr, yield measurement and base cutter height control systems for a harvester. Ikena Lebedem, neodymium iron boron magnet and selected surface modification and method of producing same. Ikena Lebedem and Dennis Proteus for dissolution and separation of rare earth metals. Santosh Pandey, droplet actuator and methods of droplet manipulation. Jean-Philippe Tessonnier and Naku Hernandez and Eric Cochran for electrocatalytic hydrogenation of meconic acid. Jean-Philippe Tessonnier and Brent Shanks for electrochemical isomerization of meconic acid. Martin Thuo, methods of predicting metal surfaces. This list is a wonderful example of the cutting edge research happening on our campus every day, year round, even during a global pandemic. When shutdowns began this spring, our teams immediately set out to find safe, healthy ways to continue their ongoing, important research during this time. Some faculty and lab staff even repurposed labs to help produce PPE for our frontline workers throughout the state. You've likely already heard about the Cyclone Shield developed by Matt Frank and Leslie Potter with IMSE students Chase Clark and Michael Dreyer who also work as equipment managers for the Iowa State football team. This is a perfect example of the contributions that Cyclone engineers make to our society. In addition to the Iowa State football team, at last count we've been able to assist over 35 high school teams by making all the plans readily available for any and all teams and coaches to look for safety solutions. Finally today, we're going to do something a little different. In addition to named faculty and patents, each year we like to recognize a group of engineering faculty and staff members who have been recognized and nominated by their peers for their outstanding achievements and contributions to our college. Instead of me reading off the list, this year we've decided to let you hear from the winners themselves as they tell us in their own words what these awards mean to them. Thanks to the College of Engineering in selecting me for the Staff Excellence Award. Truly an honor. A big thank you to Ghoul IMSE's Honors and Awards Committee and the entire IMSE faculty and staff for your efforts and support. Appreciate everything you have done for me to secure this award. You are a great group to work with. As a nearly 30-year employee in the College of Engineering and Iowa State, this award means a lot. I take pride in the work that I do and what I have done. This honor helps me realize how my hard work has paid off. Cyclone pride is always there. The people I have met over these years, my colleagues, students, alumni and friends, however, are what make this place a great place to be. I have lifelong friends and know I have made a difference. As my license plate says, loyalty. I am dedicated to this university. 
I am a loyal employee and Cyclone fan. My spirit for Cyclones in ISU, my alma mater is never ending. When I'm not here at ISU, I am with my family and friends, or probably on the golf course, thus the T in loyalty. Without them and the support, I would not be where I am today. I can't thank them enough. Thank you everyone. Go Cyclones, ISU loyal forever true. I graduated Iowa State in May of 2015 and was hired along as staff uh, not too long after that. In this position, I've been given a really unique opportunity to work with students right as they're diving into engineering. I especially love working with students who are a lot like I was when I was a student. They need that extra hands-on component or those extra help hours to finally have a concept cement itself into stick. And I always wonder if it's enough, if what I'm doing is actually making a difference. And so I'd like to thank Dr. Schaefer and Dr. Holland and Jim Benson for nominating me and letting me know that what I'm doing is enough, that it is making a difference, and that I'm doing a good job. So thank you. I'm very grateful to the College of Engineering for this teaching award. The college, as well as my departmental colleagues of Doug Jacobson, Diane Rover, and Joe Zambrino have always been very supportive of my work at Iowa State. I was nominated for the creation of three new courses in the cybersecurity engineering major. And while I've absolutely loved the course development, what I've been even more impressed with is the quality of students we've attracted into the program. These students are bright, they're interested in cybersecurity, and they're excited about pursuing a career upon graduation. Now for a long time, Iowa State's been recognized for creating top-notch graduate students who go out into industry and the national research labs. And I'm very excited that I'm part of creating this undergraduate program that should be of the same quality and caliber. So to say that I'm ecstatic is an understatement, that my courses in creating these cybersecurity undergrad program have been selected for a teaching award has made me outstandingly happy. So again, thank you to the college and thank you to everybody who's been part of my Iowa State adventure. My name is Kristen Clegg and I'm a communication specialist for engineering college relations, covering the departments of electrical and computer engineering and materials science and engineering. I received the ISU College of Engineering Staff Award for Inclusive Excellence and I was nominated by Diane Rover of ECBE. I am very grateful that Diane took the time to nominate me and so thankful to those who um, recommended me for this award. Diane is a role model of mine. She does great work for engineering education and diversity and inclusion in the College of Engineering. While Iowa State's College of Engineering does enroll and hire people from all around the world of different gender identities and races and ethnicities and socioeconomic backgrounds, it is important that we continue to welcome diversity and to have different voices at the table. And we need to uplift and share those voices and their success stories, which is one of the most important parts of my job. As an engineering communication specialist, it is my job to let the world know about all of the good things that we are doing and that those good things are being done by all kinds of people, many of whom are considered minorities in STEM fields. I am very humbled to receive this award and I am proud to work at Iowa State in the College of Engineering. Two of my biggest professional goals in this position are to let the world know that we are a welcoming and inclusive place and to show future students that they are welcome here. I pledge to continue learning and to feature and promote the diverse voices of our engineers and our future engineers. Thank you so much for this award. Hello, my name is James Wright. Thank you very much for this College of Engineering Award. I want to thank my nominator, Dr. Michelle Sapir, and the ABE Nomination Committee. I also want to thank the ABE Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Committee. It's always an honor and a privilege to serve students at the point of their need. As we say in our Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Committee, student recruitment, student retention, and student graduation. Those are our goals. Thank you again for this great honor. I'm Ann Kimber. I'm the director of the Electric Power Research Center at Iowa State. I received the College of Engineering's Extension Outreach Award. I want to thank the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department for nominating me. I want to especially thank the power faculty and the EPRC industry members who wrote letters of support for me. It means a lot, and I was surprised and delighted by this recognition. EPRC has nine industry members, including Alliant and Mid-American Energy, 
the municipal utilities of Ames, Bloomfield, and Cedar Falls, the Electric Cooperative, Central Iowa Power Cooperative, and Corn Belt Power Cooperative. We also have MISO, which is the grid operator in much of the Midwest, and the International Transmission Company, which is a standalone uh, transmission company. We work with Algona Municipal Utilities and Iowa Lakes Cooperative and Maquoketa Valley Electric Cooperative as well. So my job is to work with industry and faculty, graduate students and undergraduate students to collaborate on solutions to the huge challenges of transforming the electric grid with renewable energy, energy storage, and energy efficiency technologies, and protect all of these advances through cybersecurity solutions. It's inspiring to work with these great people and through them, essentially have the chance to carry out the ECP -E motto, which is, the future is what we do. Thank you again for this great recognition. Hello, this is Lindsay. I wanted to drop in to say thank you for selecting me as the recipient for the College of Engineering's Outstanding Achievement in Advising Award. I feel very lucky to be working in a department who believes in their advising staff so much so they are willing to put forth the effort in a nomination. I am also appreciative of the College of Engineering for having such an award for academic advisors. In our current environment, awards such as this is the boost needed to help sustain motivation to be the best that I can be. Again, thank you to the ABE department, especially those who wrote letters in support, and to the College of Engineering for the recognition. Thank you. Hello, my name is Eliza McKenzie, um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about uh, how excited I was to receive this award from the college um, and how thankful I am to work with just a fantastic group of people. Um, our office in mechanical engineering um, really does a lot to support each other, um, to nominate each other, <laughs> um, and, and generally just to, um, to keep things flowing for our students and um, to, to really be there um, to support whatever the needs are um, for, for you all, our students, and, and we're excited to do that every day. Um, receiving this award really just means a lot to me um, because it, it does, it means, you know, it's a validation of the work we do for you um, and, and the hope to continue um, the level of support and, and continue to build on all of the, the things that we want to be doing for you and all of the things that um, we hope that you take from the program as you go. So thank you so much um, and enjoy the rest of the program. It's a great honor to have received this Outstanding Achievement in Teaching Award. Um, I am extremely grateful to my colleagues and former students who supported this nomination, um, especially my nominator, um, Monica Lamb. I've had the great fortune of teaching alongside with her for several classes and have learned an enormous amount. Um, teaching is a vital part of our role as academics, and I appreciate the learning opportunity that teaching provides to me. Um, I love it when students ask questions that I had not previously considered, um, so it provides additional learning of the material. Um, there are several excellent teachers and professors that had an invaluable contribution to my own career path. I mean, it's a, a privilege to be able to help train the next generation of chemical engineers. Thank you again. Hello, everyone. My name is Mohamed Slim, and I'm an assistant teaching professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I'm extremely honored to receive the Early Achievement in Teaching Award from the College of Engineering. Thanks for recognizing my teaching efforts, which always encourages and motivates me to do my best and to search for new and innovative ways of teaching to apply in my classroom. So I have faced uh, several challenges on my way here, especially applying team-based learning to freshman students in software and computer uh, engineering programs. But each one of these challenges has strengthened me and added to my teaching experience. So winning this award wouldn't have been possible without the inspiration I have received from my mentors, my colleagues, and my students for whom I have the deepest respect and from whom I have derived the strength to challenge myself and perform better at each stage. I sincerely thank each one of you for helping me reach a stage where I can proudly hold up this award as a mark of achievement. Thank you very much. It is such an honor to receive the College of Engineering Early Achievement and Teaching Award this year. Um, I am an assistant professor. I've been here five years now. And I can say with confidence that the best part of this job is teaching. Um, whether it's in the classroom or outside of the classroom, just interacting with students, it, it's the best part. It's the most rewarding part. And um, I'm thrilled to see that 
students also feel that um, my teaching is uh, is good or is effective, I, I suppose I should say. Um, I can say that probably the best part about this uh, this university, Iowa State, is our students. Uh, they are amazing people. Um, pretty much every student I have gotten to know has been a fantastic person. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to meeting more students as my career progresses here. Given that the Iowa State University College of Engineering has such a strong group of faculty who are dedicated teachers and educators, I am truly humbled and extremely honored to have received the teaching award. I would like to thank the Aerospace Engineering and the College of Engineering Award Committees, especially Professors Leonard Bond and Joe Schaefer for nominating me and helping me to prepare my documents. I would also like to thank the, all the amazing undergraduate and graduate students who I've had the privilege of knowing in my class. I have been very fortunate to be taught and mentored by amazing faculty who have inspired and motivated me, and I hope I can follow their footsteps and play a part in educating the next generation of engineers and educators. Thank you very much for this award. Dear colleagues from the College of Engineering, I am indeed honored and humbled to be the recipient of the 2020 Mid-Career Research Award from the College of Engineering. I would like to say that it has been a pleasure to work at Iowa State in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department, where I have been since the fall of 2006. My colleagues, the department, and the College of Engineering have always been supportive of each other, helping to build positive synergy all around. I would say that it was a rather pleasant surprise to hear about this award. And certainly, it feels great to be recognized for your work by my colleagues within the department and my peers in other departments as well. Throughout, this career, throughout my career, I have been lucky to have had great students, postdocs and collaborators. Certainly, this award would not have been possible without them and this, so much of the joint work that I have performed with them. Many of my former students are doing very well in their careers, and it feels rather satisfying to have helped them along the way. I would like to specifically thank the following people, Professor Diane Rover from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department, our department chair, Professor Ashwak Koker, my colleague and spouse, Professor Namrata Vaswani, and the ever dependable Sarah Harris for all their help in preparing this nomination package. Once again, thank you everyone, and I hope everyone stays safe. I would like to thank the college uh, for this award. Uh, it's a great honor and uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, I appreciate the uh, recognition of our research and I'm really grateful that over the years I have the uh, opportunity to work with a lot of uh, great researchers, uh, students, colleagues and friends. So um, to me, uh, this award is uh, really for all of you. And uh, finally, I would like to uh, particularly thank uh, my wife who has uh, supported me this uh, entire journey. Uh, the truth is, uh, without you, uh, none of this is possible. So uh, thank you. Congratulations to all these award winners, to all those who've been recognized today, and thank you to all of you. Our College of Engineering would not be what it is today without the hard work extra effort and dedication of each and every one of our Cyclone Engineering faculty and staff. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for celebrating our accomplishments. And thank you for everything you do throughout the year. Go Cyclones!